Greetings of the day and a warm welcome to this new session. My name is Ms. Prachivani and today we are going to talk about food hygiene and safety guidelines for food business during COVID pandemic. And this is the second part of the video. First part is already uploaded on the channel. So here we're going to talk about FSSI guidelines for food delivery, food service and food takeaways. Then we're going to talk about instructions for retail business and for food transport and distribution. So let's remember a few important points. The first one is no ready to eat food should be kept open. It has to be kept in glass displays. Clean uniforms. Employees should wear clean uniforms all the time with masks, gloves and head cover. Now, pre-screening should be done for all the employees and employees who have symptoms should be sent to nearest health facility immediately for further checkup. All food items should be washed. Fruits and vegetables which are to be consumed raw should be washed in 50 mm chlorine ppm water. Now, when we are talking about food service delivery and takeaway, any and all food service area should be well sanitized after every meal. Surfaces touched by employees or customers such as door knobs, equipment handles or furniture or grocery cart sh shall be disinfected often. Hand wash facility should be made available wherever possible. If we do not have this facility available, then sanitizer should be kept. We have to wash equipments and other tablewares with detergent and hot water. This hot water should be above 60 degrees Celsius. It is better to order for raw material 48 to 72 hours before, which can give time to keep all the items in isolation and then avoid possibility of contamination. Even with proper hand washing, food workers should use barriers like tongs, gloves to prevent direct contact with food. All cleaning equipment should be cleaned after every use with disinfectant. So, let's quickly revise. When we are saying safe restaurant, we are talking about people wearing masks and face shield. We are then talking about social distancing which is indeed two meter and enough stickers on the wall or on the floor, which gives continuously message that social distancing of two meter needs to be maintained. Now, when we're talking about takeaway, which we have to encourage from now on, we have to make sure that we have a designated pickup counter for takeaways. Also, waiting area needs to be kept separate. So we have to encourage people to be in waiting area on designated stickers, which we have made sure are already in place before they enter in the waiting area or in the restaurant. We have to make sure we take online orders now or on the telephone. So customers are not in rush when they come in the restaurant to pick up their order. So we are avoiding overcrowding at all the time. In case of dine-in, we have to use food ordering applications. Dine-in is not at a uh, begin, but eventually we will go in that direction. Prepare food for limited people to avoid food wastage because we know that we are not in that mode wherein people have accepted all these new norms. Now let's talk about buffet system. This is good when we are talking about, let's say, banquet events, or we also have buffet setups in our restaurant, special in coffee shop. So few things to remember here. One, make sure respective state authorities are informed about any of the event you're doing. So uh, 50 people per cap is taken care. Two meter gap in between customer and the food handler has to be kept. 
two meters gap in between the seating table and the service area has to be kept. So when I'm saying seating table, let's take an example of round tables and a service area is where you have the buffets um, laid. Only 50% space capacity of the seating area should be used. So let's say a banquet hall can take around 100 people at one go. You would make sure that the seating is given for or the function is taken only for 50% of the capacity. So we have enough distance in between two people. High touch points are to be disinfected again and again. This we have spoken about it, but this is something which is very important. So we're going to repeat this again and again and again. Dedicated food handlers should be behind the counter with separate serving spoons. So we are not again customers and food handlers are not using same equipments and uh, the service spoons that you're using needs to be disinfected. So you need to have enough set of equipments with you. When we're talking about food retail, personal safety is mandatory in all the areas. So wearing a clean uniform with headgear, face mask or a shield and gloves when we are in operations. Yes, we have to encourage for online payments. So avoid using cash. All transactions should be ideally online by using UPI or QR code or by using e-wallets. In case if people are paying by cards, the machine needs to be sanitized with 70% alcohol and obviously the cards also need to be sanitized. Contactless delivery should be encouraged. Now when we're saying contactless, we are talking about not touching the delivery bags or the delivery packets directly with bare hand. Reduce stock quantity on display and create gap in between two products. So people are not coming in crowd and watching at the display. When you're doing a food delivery, cover your face with face mask, use gloves and remove them after every delivery. Use new gloves for every new delivery. Now, when we talk about food delivery carts, they should be disinfected after every use. Let's talk about food transportation and distribution. The first thing is precautions. So drivers and loaders should be made aware about COVID-19 infections and its preventions by following necessary trainings and taking precautions. So this is a first point because they might not be aware about all those small things that we are talking about sanitization delivery vehicle should be sanitized well and the record of the same has to be maintained symptoms drivers with flu symptoms should not handle or transfer or deliver the food we have to have a separate entry and an exit point to avoid any unnecessary contact public toilets driver and the support staff should not use the public toilets and Driver or the other staff should not leave their vehicles unattended and should avoid stopping for tea breaks in between while they are transporting the food. So it has to be from the restaurant to the delivery point or from the pickup point to the delivery point. On that note, do attempt the quiz. Link is in the video description as usual. Now, the reference document that you can definitely visit or read is FSSI Hygiene and Safety Guidelines for Food Business During Coronavirus Disease Pandemic. Website for that is already mentioned here. All images that I have used are free to use. On that note, let me say thank you for watching the video and I'll see you for the next session. Do like, share and comment on this video and do not forget to subscribe to the channel so take care all of you and bye bye